Okay, today we're going to talk about the Kohler Command V-Twin crank gear. These stock gears are powdered metal. They do tend to break. And the other thing they got to be careful about, they'll, they'll tend to slip too on the gear. Especially if you run an aftermarket uh, camshaft, a little more ballast spring, a little more RPM. This gear will start rotating around and, and get the camshaft out of time. An easy way to check, make sure you got a good one, is to take and check. There's the dot right there. And here's the keyway. The, that dot is always opposite of the keyway exactly. So if it starts rotating around, it's moving. It's just not very good then. Uh, the fix for it is, is using our, our crank gear. We have it keyed and there's the new, new time mark. And we'll go through the steps of how to do that. Uh, uh, take the gear off there and put this one on. The first thing we're going to do now, we're going to take and we just clamp this thing in the vise. And uh, it's going to pull the vise here. We're going to grab the counterweight. And then we can take and uh, we'll take a, a punch and take a chisel and this will pop right off. Okay, to mount the new crank gear, our gear's got a machine spot for a dowel pin. What we do, all you gotta do is just kind of line up this casting mark right here where the two halves go. That's the center line of the crank. And uh, you could take that, do it that way. You wanna do something easily. It don't really matter a lot because you're only gonna be off a little bit if you do that. Or you can indicate off the center line of that keyway and come over here. But in the center of gear somewhere, just take this uh, 3 16 drill bit. This is the dowel pin, it's a half inch deep. So you wanna go about 400 thousandths deep with this hole here. For this dowel pin, then you pound the dowel pin and you press the gear on. So we'll do that right now. I'm just gonna, I, I got a little spot there. We're gonna lock this thing down. I'm gonna take the table up uh, 400 pounds. Got that drill. Uh, got that drill. Now we'll take the dowel pin and pound in here, and then we can take and uh, press in, and then we can take. See, it just sticks up above there a little bit, and that will drive the gear. And we'll do that next. Okay. Now we got to put the crank gear, the new crank gear, onto the crankshaft. We've got the dowel pin in there. It sticks up just enough. It'll, it'll drive on that groove there. And the best way to do this is take this thing, and I, I usually lay it on, on the back device. Take a torch, heat that up so it's just cherry red. Grab a pliers and grab by the pliers and drop it on and it will line up and if it don't if it's sticking a little bit i took a piece of pipe and take a piece of pipe and a hammer and drive that on the rest way to tell it's seated all against it then you're, you're ready to roll and when you get done you'll have a time mark right at the bottom the dolphin's going to drive the gear and this gear is made of 4140 uh, hardened steel so it ain't going to it ain't going to break like the powdered metal stock gear is and after you get that you'll have a good deal and you can even do this with a stock gear you can just drill a, like a, a spot right between the, the parting line of the crank and the gear and put a set screw in there, but the only trouble is you still got a powdered metal gear that can still break. And that thing breaks, what happens is the camshaft falls all the time and you'll bend all your valves and your motor. So it's really good to take, take the time and put a good, uh, a good cam gear in it, a crank gear in it so it don't break. And it's a pretty easy thing to do. You something to do at home without a problem. Don't take any special tools. You know, a, a 3 16 drill and a, and a torch and you can put it on with a, a little bit of persuasion. But, but that'll help it survive a lot better.